Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm E. Lyons, the set and props designer for Eurydice, and I want to welcome you into the underworld. So one of the first things that you'll see when you walk into this space is our memory gallery. So I talk a little bit about it in the article, but these are submissions of ancestors and photos from a time that have come and gone um, from our company, from people on the production team, and a few folks from the department at large. One of the aims that I had in a holistic transformation of the space um, and a way to make the production immersive right from the jump. So come on in. I'm so psyched that you're here. Um, this monstrosity that you're looking at, um, I have lovingly referred to as the strata, aptly named for uh, its presence as a signifier of the Earth's core and an extension of the concept that this underworld takes place through all the layers of the Earth instead of just underground. Most of the junk either came from my own apartment, um, the props warehouse of which we had a wealth of items to choose from, um, and some kind of junk submissions from, uh, from the director and the company and other folks in the department. Um, we are really well taught here to be holistic about our choices um, and to make sure that everything selected for the world lives in the world and has a place in the world. They're um, built on wood frames that I cut out mm -hmm. um, and assembled with a staple gun and wood glue. And then they are, the objects are affixed with duct tape, uh, hot glue, vibes, very, very most important one, um, and uh, great stuff, which is a sort of a construction foam. There are stage directions that indicate that Eurydice uses a water pump. So this is my interpre interpretation of that. Um, I don't know if I drink water from that. Right? But like it lives in the world. And so that's mm -hmm. what sort of makes it um, for this. Um, what makes this sculpture distinct is that uh, all of the junk um, the rule for this is that they have, they have to be vessels that hold water. So bottles, mm -hmm. cups, um, containers, this really lovely um, big uh, water cooler jug that the CFA was uh, generous enough to sort of give for this production. You know, despite the fact that there is a lot to look at, I didn't want a design that was over-reliant on spectacle because mm -hmm. what drew me to this show um, was what was going on interpersonally between the characters. Um, the magic felt like it had to come from a place that was real, that had context, um, hence why a lot of the water is suggested um, and imagined because this play is of a highly imaginative nature. In order for these to feel dynamic, the objects could not be homogenous. Um, there are sort of a few categories for the objects in this space. Um, objects that relate to childhood, um, just very objects that relate to everyday life, objects that you could find on a wedding registry, objects related to music, um, and vessels that can hold water. Uh, a lot of us are beings who sort of live to accumulate and discard stuff, whether we want to admit it or not. Um, and so these sculptures as an extension of that concept have to be eclectic by nature. This is it. This is kind of a journey that our actors may take um, up into this space. It's a big staircase. I've, the, I've been joking with myself that like, it's a big staircase, uh, but, it, but it functions as more and it really is the, uh, the most significant element of our cavern here, of our underworld. And you follow the line of the strata all the way up to this wedding arch, which is sort of one of the crowning uh, sculptural elements uh, of the world. It is an undeniable focal point, and I am most enraptured by the collection of junk on this specifically. There's something about the composition of it that I find deeply satisfying in the repetition and variation. This is a sort of quasi light fixture um, that our 
lighting designer Loudon Flowers so graciously um, added a light bulb to uh, these two pieces. This is um, three bicycle uh, t frames that I, like tire frames that I zip tied together. Um, so right, again, like the sort of beauty of this space is that there are subtle changes um, in the landscape that indicate uh, shifts to different places mm -hmm. because we travel so much throughout this. We travel again, we travel long distances. Right, yeah. So yeah, are yeah. you ready to head back into the world of the living? Absolutely, yeah. right? Make it out of the underworld. Just uh, don't look back on your way out or we'll lose someone. <laughs>